In those days, many gathered from all parts to hear the words of truth that flowed from the lips of Jesus. He went up to a mountain and, seeing the multitude, sat down. His disciples approached, eager to absorb the wisdom that flowed from him like purifying waters. Jesus lifted his eyes to the sky and began to speak with a gentle voice, yet carrying the weight of divine authority. He said, Blessed are the humble in heart, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In a world where pride builds towers of vanity, true greatness lies in the simplicity of a heart that recognizes its dependence on the divine. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The sincere tear is like rain that nourishes the arid soil of the soul, preparing it for the harvest of hope. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Strength does not reside in oppression, but in patience, like a calm river wearing away the rocks of injustice, shaping a path to peace. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. True justice is like an eternal spring, feeding the soul's thirst for fairness and love. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Compassion is the link that connects the divine to the human, and in its expression, we find redemption. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. In purity, the veils of illusion fall, revealing the Creator's face in the deepest corners of being. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. True power lies in the ability to unite, not divide, and building bridges, not walls. Blessed are those persecuted for the sake of justice, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amidst the storms of opposition, truth shines like an unextinguishable star. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Do not hide your virtues, but let them shine like a lamp on a high place, illuminating the lost hearts. Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. In judgment, the mirror reflecting truth returns to the heart of the observer. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In love, we find the key to transformation and reconciliation. And so, in the midst of this modern Mount Sermon, may your lives be like trees planted by the streams of water, whose fruits bear witness to the divine love dwelling within you. May the peace that surpasses all understanding guard your hearts today and always. Amen.